typically the hormones we look for with women to assess sexual functioning, the most, the one that seems most germane is testosterone. Um, everybody has testosterone. We think of it as a male hormone, but women have some, and it seems more and more clear that what they have, they actually need. Other um, hormonal changes can also have an impact on your testosterone level. So for example, if you're very stressed, which we are a lot in our society, cortisol levels rise. Cortisol, high cortisol levels have been associated with low testosterone levels. So that can have a dramatic effect on testosterone. Lack of sleep can have an effect on testosterone levels. Um, so you'll very often find women who come in with low testosterone levels. Estrogen is what we think of as the female hormone, and there has been a lot of talk recently about, yes, use estrogen, don't use estrogen, but it does appear that for women to function properly sexually, they need a certain amount of estrogen in their system. Unfortunately, hormonal treatments and hormonal changes take time. They're actually, it's a little frustrating for some women because it takes a while. We tell patients that if we're putting them on testosterone, let's for example, we see it takes four to eight months until we can tell them that we'll be able to judge whether it's having an impact. The first two to four months is, is what it usually takes for us to start seeing the impact on paper. In other words, once we start drawing blood within two to four months, we'll start seeing that number creeping up. And it seems as though it takes about two to four months to get those changes to translate to the brain.